Hey, what's up? David here with Dino VFX, and welcome back to another video tutorial. And in this video, we're going to be creating this water uh, texture look. I don't know. So, um, yeah, so let's take a look at what we're going to be creating. Alright, so I hope you enjoy that. So, we've got a lot of detail going on. We got our uh, glossiness, we got uh, reflectivity, some color correction, some highlights, and camera angles. So all of that will be covered today's tutorial. Ugh. All right. So let's make a new comp. So Control N, and we'll call this Ocean. Make a five seconds to full HD and hit OK. And let's make a new solid. Control Y. And maybe we can make this, I don't know, pink or magenta. And let's go into element. Okay, so scene setup. All right, so here we are in element 3D. So I'm gonna make a new plane and we'll make this two by two. And we're gonna uh, set the auxiliary channel to 1. Okay, now let's go into my material options and go in translucent and let's find pool water. Okay, so that is looking pretty good. Now let's tweak this. So maybe we can bring the diffuse down to zero. Maybe the normal about 25%. So it's just looking a little less complex. Let's go change the environment to all the way down, maybe about 70%. Hit OK. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so we're gonna make another new plane and we're gonna set this one to channel two for the auxiliary and make it two by two again. I'll just bring this up a bit. And we're gonna put this material and make this the tide. Okay, so that is looking very nice. And let's make some more adjustments. So, and if we just click on the box, we can bring the saturation down. Maybe all the way down. And bring this up. Create a nice little contrast. Alright, so we got nice water texture. And go into the plane model itself and set this to maybe 8 by 7. Get some detail going on. And go back into material and hit that gear and set the blending mode to add. Yep, so control D for the water texture. And we're just going to change this one to um, actually we'll leave it the same the only thing we're going to change is auxiliary channel 3 and we'll maybe make this 3 by 3 set it to box and we'll probably do the same for that as well set it to box okay so we got nice water um texture okay maybe we can just maybe adjust this a bit even more so maybe just bring down okay okay so that's done so let's hit okay and we're gonna make a new camera 80 millimeters at okay and hit C and you can bring out the camera option. So I'm going to just orbit around and zoom in. Uh, we can see some overlay. 
So we might just adjust that. So we might just adjust this position, bring it up. And that is looking good. There we go. Okay, so now let's make some adjustments. So I'm going to go to the render settings, turn on ambient occlusion and enable fog and we'll make this like a bluish color and drop that down to maybe 30 percent and maybe adjust the distance as well okay and the rendering output we'll set this polygon no sorry the multi sampling to all the way up to 32 and reflectivity or the bump, bump that up to like 10 so we get some nice glossiness going on okay and let's get color correction curves and just play with a little bit of contrast okay and it's looking too smooth so i might add a turbulent display so distort turbulent displace and we'll bring we'll just play with this and we'll bring all this values down around the 20 range okay so that's looking very nice okay so next thing we need to do is add our background i've got a uh, like a like a background city thing whatever so i'm just going to drop that into our comp and we'll toggle the switches to 3d layer and if we scale this down like maybe about 18 a um, bit more we can see here where kind of look we're going for so just maybe hit w rotate on the y-axis and just scale it up hit v to move the position bring that down okay okay so once that's done we want to hit aa for the background and turn off accept lights because we're going to be using some comp lights for this okay so let's create a new light so layer new light make it a little white and parallel bring that intensity up and hit ok okay so let's play with the light position so hit p and just move this in and let's just just try to get it like pointing from this direction out because that's where the majority of the lights coming through uh, just have a little play with this so play with these lights and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this. So we got a lot majority of light coming through this direction as you can see you can tell by here. Okay, so let's duplicate it. So control D and maybe we can make one maybe on this side and just you know just push it this way but not too much because we want to show majority of the light coming from this direction so hit t maybe drop this down to maybe like 200 yeah so that's looks okay maybe 150 Okay, so now we've got our lights, let's make a new adjustment layer. So 
So Control Alt Y and add color correction tint and color correction curves and maybe drop this down to maybe like 25 and let's play with this contrast yeah, and go to the red channel bring that down go to blue channel bring that up and uh, just maybe play with that red channel because that red channel is very sensitive um, you can tweak it if you guys if you guys want to um, yep so we're just gonna label the CC and we're just gonna drop this underneath our lights okay so now have we done color question on this no we haven't so we've got to do curves on this one so this is our sky background maybe just bring that down a bit and go to blue channel bring that up there we go okay so now we're going to go back into element I should probably label this E3D and let's go to group 1 because it's on group 1 and let's create a group null so basically a group null is basically a null object that controls the position of the of the elements inside of the group so in this case it's group 1 so we can rotate this so I'm just gonna hit R and rotate this maybe slightly about 10 degrees and now we're getting something and maybe we could zoom in with our camera this is looking pretty good I mean like I think it might be better than my original one I don't know we'll see how we go okay so now let's just tweak this or maybe just bring the blue down a bit okay so if we jump back into element 3d we can enable some of these some of these um, render settings so maybe we can enable glow and that makes some glow maybe just turn off the radius and maybe drop that down to maybe like one so now uh, maybe we just bump that to maybe around 12 yeah that's not going alright um, and drop this down to maybe like it's looking a little strong so maybe halve it okay so next thing we have to do is animate the water actually going into some direction so what we can do is get open the auxiliary channel on our element 3d layer and open channel 2 and 3 okay because we named the top two layers assigned the top two layers to channel 2 and 3 respectively so we're just gonna hit it stopwatch for both of the UV offset for both of these and scrub through the timeline maybe change this to maybe like 1.5 1.5 and maybe change this one to maybe like 1.2 to 1.2 all right let's check it out mm, not bad I think we can do better so that turbulent displacement is going is going wild so I might just turn that down a bit Maybe the size down and the amount. So if we put this up to full res, just want to see what it looks like in full res because it makes a big difference. Yep, see, it makes a uh, quite a big difference. So what we need to do is just play a bit with this camera angle because I want to zoom in on the water 
Okay, so what I did is zoomed in a bit more and I just played with the curves adjustment on the Element 3D layer. Okay, so now we can just add some depth of field to our camera. So I'm just going to switch this back to quarter and just hit AA and enable depth of field. And that's looking very blurry. So I just bring this all the way down to maybe about 150 and see how we go. So that was my value for the focus distance, 189.7. And maybe turn down the blur amount to maybe 75%. And turn down the aperture. Okay, so for the final touches, I just lowered the contrast for the ocean. So just, you see, if I just tweak this, it'll look kind of all weird. So don't want to do that. So yeah, um, played with the um, background positioning and the depth of field, um, the aperture, the focus distance, just play with everything just play with the values until it suits um it, uh, no until you're happy with it with the final result um don't follow my values if you follow my values and it turns out to be coincidentally great then go for it um use my values but i highly doubt that's going to be the case because even these values are different from my old cop my old project so so don't use my values. Just tweak it. I mean, like little adjustments can make a big difference on your final render. So don't be afraid to use um, different techniques for the final remit, final image. Um, maybe you can add a human saturation. I didn't use it because I thought it was this looked okay. But maybe you don't like it. Maybe you can add more blue to it or maybe add some i don't know a bit of yellow little reflections of the sunlight so yeah just go in deep inside and just play with it um but that's it for today guys um i know it's been a long tutorial i do apologize for the length of the tutorials um i don't like making my tutorials very long because you kind of lose some concentration and lack of motivation so I want to try, I like to keep it short and concise. So if you made it this far, congratulations, you created this ocean look. So thank you everyone. My name is David Lee. I hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations. And as always, please give a like if you like this video. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos. And comment down below if you have any questions. And until next time, I will see you in the next video.